Good morning, students. Welcome to your English class. My name is Carlos Silva and I am your English teacher. This is day 13. Are you ready to learn English? Let's begin. Day 13. Courtesy expressions. Let's learn some courtesy expressions. Today, you are gonna explore some courtesy expressions we use every day, and then we're gonna practice them. El día de hoy, vas a explorar algunas expresiones de cortesía que utilizamos diariamente. Y también vamos a practicarlas. Vocabulary. So, these are the courtesy expressions we're gonna, we're gonna explore today. I want you to listen and repeat. Listen and repeat. Ready? Welcome. Welcome. Please repeat. Welcome. This is an expression we say when somebody comes to our house. If we are receiving people at home, we say, oh, welcome. Bienvenido. Es una expresión que utilizamos cuando tenemos visitas o cuando nosotros visitamos a un amigo. Él nos dice esta expresión. Welcome. Bienvenido. Nice to meet you. Please repeat. Nice to meet you. When we meet somebody for the first time, we use this expression. Utilizamos esta expresión cuando conocemos a alguien por primera vez. Nice to meet you. Un gusto en conocerte. O encantado de conocerte. Sorry. Sorry. When we want to apologize to somebody, we use this expression. Sorry. Si queremos pedir una disculpa a alguien, utilizamos esta expresión. Sorry. So, please repeat. Sorry. Esta expresión la utilizamos cuando queremos pedir perdón. Lo siento. Sorry. A lo mejor hiciste algo muy malo o algo de lo que te arrepientes. Y tienes que decir, lo siento. Sorry. Please. Please. This expression is very useful when you ask for a favor. Uh -huh. Esta expresión es útil si tú pides un favor. Tienes que decir, por favor. Please. Thank you. Thank you. If somebody does a favor to you, you have to say thank you. Thank you. Si alguien te hace un favor, tienes que decir gracias. Thank you. You're welcome. Please repeat. You're welcome. Cuando alguien te dice gracias o cuando alguien te da las gracias, ¿cuál es la expresión que usas? De nada. Esto significa you're welcome. If somebody says thank you to you, you respond saying you're welcome. May I come in? Please repeat. May I come in? If you want to get in the classroom, you have to ask for permission to your teacher. And you use this expression. May I come in? Si quieres entrar al salón de clases, tienes que pedir permiso. Entonces utilizas esta expresión. ¿Puedo pasar? ¿Me permite pasar? See you later. Please repeat. See you later. 
Now, this is an, an informal farewell. You can only use it with your friends. Mm -hmm. My recommendation is use it with your friends. See you later. Esta es una expresión menos formal para despedirte. Utilízala con tus amigos. Hasta luego o nos vemos luego. Mm -hmm. Reviewing vocabulary. Now let's review the words or the expressions we've learned uh, today. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Sorry. May I come in? Please. Thank you. You're welcome. See you later. Now let's practice the expression. What expression do you have to use? I want you to look at the pictures and choose the correct expression. Mira la imagen y escoge la expresión correcta. Look at the picture of the girl. What is the correct expression? Thank you. Please, sorry. Please, she's saying, please. Now the boy, you are arriving at the boy's house. What is the expression that he uses? Welcome, may I come in? Thank you. Welcome. He is receiving you with this expression. Welcome, friend. Now, these boys are meeting for the first time. What's the courtesy expression they use? May I come in? Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you is the expression they say. Now, this girl is receiving a gift. When we receive a gift, what's the expression we say to the other person? Thank you. You're welcome. Sorry. Thank you. So next time when you receive a gift, Remember to say, thank you. Now, the boy is sad. He did something wrong. What's the expression he's using? Sorry, please, see you later. Sorry. He's saying sorry to his mom. Maybe he broke a glass or a plate or something. Now, the boy is at school. He's at the door of the classroom. What's the expression he has to use to get in the classroom? May I come in? See you later. Nice to meet you. May I come in? He's using an, an expression that we need to use to get in the classroom. Very good. I hope you enjoyed this practice. And now I'm going to explain to you what you have to do. Espero hayas disfrutado la actividad. Ahora te voy a explicar lo que tienes que realizar en ex, esta actividad que tienes que hacer. Complete the expressions and color. ¿Vas a completar las expresiones que tenemos en esta hoja? Si notas, ahí abajo tienes las opciones dentro del recuadro. Vas a completar las expresiones y después vas a colorear tu trabajo. And that's it. That's all you have to do today and I'll see you next class with a new video. Es todo lo que tienes que hacer y yo te veré la próxima clase con un nuevo video, ¿ok?
Goodbye. Have a great day. See you.